Okay, when you think of vitamin D, what's the first thing that pops into your head? Bones, right? It's the classic answer. But what if I told you that its most important job might have nothing to do with your skeleton and everything to do with your metabolism? That's the big question we're diving into, because new research is suggesting that vitamin D could be the hidden switch that tells your body exactly where to send every single extra calorie you eat. To really wrap our heads around this, we first need to completely rethink what vitamin D actually is. Spoiler alert, it's a lot more than just a simple vitamin. That's right, vitamin D is technically a secosteroid hormone. You see, its chemical structure has this unique broken ring, unlike other steroid hormones. And that little difference in shape, that's the key. It's what unlocks its powerful and wide-ranging effects throughout your entire body. And it doesn't just work right out of the gate. Whether you get it from the sun or in a bottle, it has to go on a little journey. First, it gets converted in the liver, and then it makes its final stop in the kidneys to get fully activated. Only then can it become the powerful hormone that gets to work inside your cells. So now we know it's a hormone. Let's look at how it actually pulls the levers inside our body, right down at the cellular level. This is where things get really fascinating. Inside your cells, you have something called the vitamin D receptor, or VDR. The easiest way to think about it is like a master switch. When that active vitamin D locks into this receptor, it can literally turn specific genes on or off, telling your cells what to do. And this isn't some small-time operation. We're talking about vitamin D helping to regulate over 2,500 genes. That is a massive portion of our genome, controlling everything from immune function all the way to the very core of our energy metabolism. And here's the crucial link. Our muscle tissue is just packed with these vitamin D receptors. Skeletal muscle is actually a primary storage tank for vitamin D, which is probably why people with more muscle can take higher doses and still show lower levels in their blood. Their muscles are literally soaking it up and holding onto it. So this direct connection to muscle is really the foundation for a groundbreaking idea that vitamin D can fundamentally reprogram how your body partitions energy. A recent preprint study done in rodents found something incredible. When they were given high doses of vitamin D, their body's response to a calorie surplus totally changed. Instead of storing that extra energy as fat, it started funneling those resources toward building new muscle. This really shows the core idea. With low vitamin D, surplus calories tend to follow the default path, right into fat storage. But with high vitamin D, those exact same calories get rerouted away from fat and towards muscle growth and repair. It's a fundamental shift. So how does it do this? Well, the first key player is a protein called myostatin. Just think of myostatin as the emergency break from muscle growth. Its entire job is to tell your body, okay, that's enough muscle, let's stop building more. It's a natural limiter. The second player here is leptin. And if myostatin is the break, you can think of leptin as your body's fuel gauge. It's a hormone that's released by fat cells and it sends a signal to your brain telling it how much energy you have stored in the tank. When that gauge is full, your brain is supposed to lower your hunger and kick up your metabolism. So here's the magic trick. High dose vitamin D seems to do two things at once. First, it suppresses myostatin. It basically takes the foot off the muscle building break. And second, it improves your body's sensitivity to leptin, making that fuel gauge signal come through to your brain much louder and clearer. Now, this whole mechanism is amazing on its own, but it's so fundamental that it might suggest something really profound about our evolutionary past. You have to wonder, could this be a relic of an ancient metabolic rhythm? Think about it like this. In the summer, our ancestors would have had way more sun exposure and naturally higher vitamin D. This would have been the signal to send calories toward building strong, lean muscle for all that hunting and activity. Then in the winter, less sun, lower vitamin D, the switch flips, and now those calories are directed toward storing fat for insulation and survival. So how does all this translate into action for us today? How can we make sure our levels are optimized for muscle health in the modern world? First things first, you need to know your numbers. As you can see here, if you're severely deficient, that's below 12 nanograms per milliliter, it's linked to reduced muscle strength. Getting above 20 is considered adequate for muscle health. But here's the key point. The research also shows diminishing returns once you get above 30. So more isn't always better. Now, when it comes to supplementation, it's definitely not one size fits all. 
Older adults might need somewhere between 800 to 2,000 IU daily just to reduce the risk of falls. Athletes who are deficient often see improvements with higher doses, say 4,000 to 5,000 IU. And remember, because vitamin D gets stored in fat, people with higher body fat may need larger doses just to get their blood levels where they need to be. So the big takeaway here is really clear and simple. Don't guess. A simple blood test can tell you exactly where you stand. And from there, you can supplement strategically and precisely to get yourself into that optimal range for your personal goals and your own unique physiology. It really makes you wonder, doesn't it? We thought we knew what vitamin D was for, but it turns out it's been running this complex metabolic program in the background the whole time. It begs the question, what other fundamental secrets about our health are hiding right there, in plain sight, just waiting for us to understand them? <laughs>